Hello and welcome to this first video on my YouTube channel in the War Thunder series. From this moment I'm going to produce more videos for this fantastic game. The first in the series goes about the Dagger engine that is used by Gaijin Entertainment, the game development company behind War Thunder. The Dagger engine is a 3D engine used mainly by Gaijin Entertainment for its own video games as it is a proprietary technology so far. The original version of the engine was developed by Gaijin Entertainment and in 2005 they set up the separate company Dagger Technologies for continued development. Currently the engine incorporates technology such as the Mechon and physics physics engines and is up to version 4.0 since War Thunder. In the upcoming War Thunder 1.77 update, the developers are introducing a new version of the Dagger Engine graphics engine and they want to tell us about a few new opportunities this render provides. One of the innovations is a new anti-aliasing algorithm, Temporal Anti-Aliasing or TAA. Anti-aliasing is used in computer games to neutralize the effect of pixelation at the edges of objects. The developers previously used FXAA or Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing and MSAA multi-sample anti-aliasing. FXAA and MSAA provide far more humble results in graphics quality, smoothing only the edges of polygons or the sharp borders of images with various algorithms. Now what is TAA then? Well TAA stands for Temporal Anti-Aliasing calculates a specific number of previously rendered frames, taking into account the position of pixels dynamically. Visually, the new anti-aliasing algorithm provides a sharper image and reduces noise on the edges of objects and blinking on shiny surfaces. Additionally, it not only successfully smooths edges and borders, but also adds details. It basically works by rendering the image at high resolution and then reducing it to the size of your screen. Temporal anti-aliasing somewhat has an effect on frame rate, so the developers recommend us to use the new anti-aliasing method on medium-high level graphic cards. By default, temporal anti-aliasing will be enabled for maximum graphic settings. For other graphics presets, the new anti-aliasing algorithm can be selected in the graphics settings in the form of two options, TAA and HQTAA. These options differ in quality of dynamic objects. So this is everything I wanted to tell you about the new TAA graphics option that we will have with the next 1.77 update. The Dagger Engine 5.0 also brings another nice new feature, but more about that in my next video in the War Thunder series.